Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. Today, I want to get into a collaboration between Awake New York and the Jordan brand. This is their first collaboration together. This pair really surprised me once I got them in hand. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Awake New York Jordan airships. All right, so if y'all are familiar with the channel, y'all know that I love special packaging. At first, you can tell that it's co-branded. You've got the Awake and then the Jumpman over the top of it, but it's way more detailed than just that. The base has this kind of snakeskin texture, and we will see that again on the shoes, but I think that's a nice detail. And then on the bottom of the box, it says where I'm from. Then when you take the lid off the box, you can see underneath we have a jump man and then we have some coordinates there. I actually saw conflicting stories of what coordinates this is. I saw where somebody was saying that it was a Wake New York store location. It's actually the coordinates of the hospital where Michael Jordan was born. And I think that's a really neat touch. It goes along with that where I'm from inspiration. We also get some stickers that has the Awake branding as well as the Jordan branding on there. And then on the back, it's got some of the burrows from New York. Like usual with airships, we got this booklet describing the technology, but I thought it was really neat. They actually put the Awake branding on there as well. I think extra touches like that really help to take the shoe to the next level. I'm really feeling this packaging. I love how much thought and detail they put into it. Even the paper inside the box has the dual branding and it actually shows the topography of New York City. Although that special packaging is pretty cool, it's got nothing on these bad boys. I think this shoe is good on so many levels. As soon as I opened this box, you could just smell that it had that real nice leather. With details like the snake skin up there around the collar and then the silver swooshes, I think you did kind of run the risk of these ending up looking a little bit cheesy, but I am happy to report these things look as top shelf as could be. I think this leather is probably the best leather that I've had on a pair of shoes in quite some time. It's got a real nice tumbled texture to it and it just feels soft and buttery. I am very impressed with the materials that they chose for this shoe. I really like all the little details that Awake put on here. There is a lot of dual branding, but it's not like a walking billboard. Again, it doesn't look cheesy. It's not too much. The first Awake New York branding that I noticed was that A, and that's just stitched in there, but it's white stitching, so it's not really in your face and it's not really loud. I like how low key that touch is. Then on the back of the left shoe, it says Awake New York in that snakeskin texture. On the back of the right shoe, it just has Nike Air branding. Maybe my favorite touch as far as the branding goes is that this Wings logo actually says Awake New York in there. And you probably wouldn't even really notice that if you just saw somebody wearing them. But I really like how it goes under the radar and it doesn't jump out at you. But whenever you're really taking the time to appreciate the shoes, you can see all this Awake New York branding. And I just think it's done really well. These came with flat white laces already in the shoe, but they did give us a spare set. And the spare set is that red color. It says that this is varsity red on the box, but to me it looks more like a chili red because it seems like it has like a bright orange hint to it. Either way, it's really bright, it's vibrant, and I like the color on this shoe. One more little extra that it came with was this Jordan hang tag. That really reminds me of the hang tag that we got on the patent leather breads. It just looks like it's a chrome jump man. Pretty cool touch. But getting into the review, we can see that this outsole is a translucent gum material, but they did give it kind of like a tattered effect. I think it's really cool looking. That doesn't look like it was overdone, and it does kind of look legit like these might have been worn or like it might be an older pair or something. This tread pattern is very similar to a Jordan 1. It's got a pivot point in the front, Nike branding there at the midfoot, but this was the Jordan before the Jordan. Obviously, it's very similar to Jordan 1s, and this silhouette was actually around before the Jordan 1 was. The one detail I would have changed on these just like the Alma Meniere airships that I have on feet, these came with this pre-aged effect on the midsole. 
And it's not that I don't like it, but I was able to wash that off of my All Mom and Year pair. And it still left a little bit of an aged look, but it looks so much better whenever you kind of scrub this and make it so that it's not as drastic or not as dramatic. However they're putting it on there, it just looks like it's caked on and it does look a little bit sloppy, but it is good that you can wash it off and they look much cleaner whenever you do wash that yellow gunk off of there. Really the whole base of this upper is just this nice tumbled white leather and like I said before, it feels as soft as can be. It feels like a really high-end luxury car or something like that. And as I mentioned, you can smell the quality on it. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But it just smells like a really nice wallet or a really nice belt, something like that. I'm definitely feeling this white leather material that we got for the upper. I already pointed out the A for the Awake New York branding. I also really like what they did with these swooshes. I thought by pictures that it might be reflective, but it is like a less dramatic version of the Silver Toes that we saw a couple years back. It's not as cheesy looking as those. It doesn't have a lot of shine to it, but obviously you can tell that it's a silver color. And I really like how they made the edges of those swooshes black. And then it's got this neat border effect by this red. I think it's a felt material. But I just love the small little details like that. I think it gives these a really high-end look. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of the snakeskin texture or this faux snakeskin print. But I've got to tell you, it really looks phenomenal on this pair. And I think it's just because the rest of the shoe is done so well. And these colors really do just complement this silhouette very nicely. But like I said before, on the back of the left shoe, it says Awake New York. And then it's kind of got that snakeskin strip going down the heel as well. The toe box has perforations just like we get on other airships or Jordan 1s. And one way it differs from Air Jordan 1s is it has these extra little flaps down here where the eye stays are. And... I like that it's something unique. I like that it's something a little bit different than what we're used to with Jordan 1s. The tongue kind of feels like a Jordan 1 tongue. It's just kind of like a nylon material and you can see the color of that foam kind of showing through the material that we have for the surface of the tongue. It gives it kind of like an orangish color. We've got a white Nike Air tag on the top of the tongue. And then on the back, once again, we see the co-branding for Awake New York as well as a Jumpman. Kind of similar to 85s, you can see the size there up here in the collar of the shoe. I do recommend going true to size for airships. I don't think I mentioned that yet. I do have wide feet, but with these soft materials and everything, they're really comfortable on feet. I got a 10 and a half on my All Mom Manier airships, but with these, I just went with a 10 because I don't really need the extra room. I think they'll be comfortable as is. The sock liner and the insole are both that varsity red color, and down on the insole, it's got some Nike Air branding. But that was a really quick look at these Awake New York Jordan airships. For this being their first collab, I think they did a phenomenal job on this shoe. Really, the quality is as good as it gets, and I think the design and the little subtle branding that you have for Awake New York on here, I just think these are excellent. The one thing I would change is I think that they should wash this fake yellowing off after they put it on. I don't have any issues with getting a pre-aged midsole, but I don't like it to look like it's got dookie already caked on it. So I will wash these off before I put them on feet. But overall, I think these are a really great pair of kicks and I'm really excited to see what Awake New York does with the Jordan brand on future releases. I think I just saw that the All Mom and Yer airships in the green and white colorway are loaded on sneakers. So let me know if y'all will be going for those. I don't know that'll go for them. I think right now just having this pair as well as the black and white All Mom and Yer pair, that's probably all that I need in my collection at this time. I really do like being able to get the airship now and I'm glad that the Jordan brand is giving us collabs like this because I think this was done really, really well. Let me know what you all think about these. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.